Hello class, it's the April 13th uh, recording on Monday. Um, so a couple things we need to go over. One, obviously, as it suggests up top, right? Um, we're gonna be introducing the last major assignment before we get to rewrites, which is the visual rhetoric assignment, right? And we're gonna talk about that in a second. Just let's go over some basic um, things that we should remember that we have to have for today, all right? First of all, um, you need to have your argument essay turned in by 11.59 tonight to the appropriate Dropbox as per usual. Um, remember some basic things, right? At least seven sources, one of which has to be your field, uh, your field research from before. Um, make sure that you're dealing with your counter arguments, that you're ending your conclusion with a call to action, all the things we've discussed multiple times before, but I just think it's relevant to bring them up. Another common pitfall that I want you guys to think about is um, make sure that your thesis has those two main components that we discussed, right? So we have uh, an arguable statement, right, which is either this is the only solution or the, or the solution you're proposing is the best possible solution to the problem. And then on the other side, we have a roadmap, right? So I'm going to explain why this is the best possible one by, doing, by showing A, B, C, and D, okay? Um, so keep those things in mind. Remember by 11.59 tonight, after that it's late. Um, if you haven't had a discussion with me one-on-one -on -one about any other things about that, or I haven't just told you already that you can have an extension, assume you can't and uh, try and get it done, okay? Um, so the visual uh, essay, right? This assignment is one that I actually changed because of the you know current events, as it were. Um, what I'd usually have you do is essentially set up like a video format to demonstrate the same point as your essay, right? Um, it, it's, so it ends up being more work for putting it together, but there's no like real background work to do because you've already done all the research and things of the, of the like. If you go look at the assignment sheet now, you'll see that that's been changed, okay? Um, I've made it significantly simpler and easier because we all have enough on our plates and more relevant to what's going on right now, okay? So essentially, the entirety of the visual, uh, visual essay slash visual rhetoric, it'll be referred to as different things on the iCollege site just because of what it used to be and now I haven't found all the instances of the phrase to update it. Um, essentially, you're going to make an infographic, right? If you don't know what that is, you've seen one before, right? It's like a, an image with a bunch of information and visuals and stuff to communicate some point to you. Essentially, it's a blending of just the informative and the visual to make a greater rhetorical um, device, okay? Um, the point of this infographic isn't anything to do with your, your what we've been researching this semester in terms of your essay. You're done with that, you're free, right? Um, what this one is about is uh, one of essentially two major um, ideas, right? The first is either it can be something that provides a piece of advice that is immediately relevant to like current events and being useful to people, right? So um, I have some examples, right? I'm sure you guys have seen um, this one, ah, this one on the right, over on my left for you guys, but over here. Um, that uh, the CDC puts out like this is the, or Baptist Health in this case, this is the correct way to wash your hands, right? I've seen a whole bunch of the ones where it's like, sing this song at this pace with washing your hands, the correct technique for washing your hands and things like that. So that's an infographic, right? Um, another example that I found, right, it, for the other type that we can do, all right, is you can essentially do something like this, right? Um, where the point of it is to teach somebody essentially a useful skill or a hobby or something they can be doing during all this newfound downtime where we're all stuck at home um, and some skill they can pick up or something they can start doing, right? Let's say you like to play guitar, put an infographic together that teaches people how to figure out the basics of playing or in tuning a guitar, right? Or um, like the example I put on the on the assignment sheet is like, let's say you're a beekeeper and you think people should be get, making their own honey, right? Okay, you can put the basics of what somebody needs to be able to do to be able to do that on their own, right? This one up here is for gardening, for example, right? And then of course, the CDC has a couple ones like this that are like proper technique for protecting yourself during the current uh, outbreak, right? 
Um, all of these are good options, right? Um, and I definitely suggest that you keep them in mind, right? But the big key kind of unifying thing for it is that it should be something relevant to what's going on now, either a like piece of advice safety skill or um, advising someone on how to do something new with all the time they currently have, okay? Um, if you look at the visual uh, essay assignment sheet, it lays out kind of what I'm looking for. Um, Essentially, I'm the, the baseline that I ask myself is, do all the visual choices that you make, like color, font, all that sort of stuff, do, the images you use, um, do they rhetorically make sense, right? Like, does it seem like you made them on purpose to do a specific thing, right? Um, in this case, inform on a particular topic, right? Um, and then also, you should be leaning more towards visual than, than text on this. So if you've noticed you have a whole lot of text and not a lot of visuals, it's probably not going to do very well. Um, remember, though, this is also still just worth 20% of your grade, right? It's, that's not something I can flex with. So, but I can tell you I tend to grade these relatively light, but you should really put the effort in. Um, the grading criteria are there, right? Is the information clear and well presented, right? So do I understand what this is about? Just very quickly upon immediate visual look at the assignment. Oh, this is an infographic. What's it about? I know what it's about. Is it telling me it clearly? Yes, right? Is the visual rhetoric carefully considered? Did the choices made feel purposeful, right? Did you use these images? Do they feel like the best possible images you could have used? Does, do these colors make sense? Does this layout make sense, okay? Um, are the choices made in presentation crafted to be effective as possible in the visual medium? Sort of like that, but essentially this is much more like the actual information that comes across, not just the visuals. Did the choices of which information you chose to present and, and how you presented it, does it make the most sense rhetorically? Okay, and then the last one is kind of a gimme, right? But it's to make sure we're on point here. Is the topic helpful or relevant in current times, right? Essentially, Again, does it give a piece of advice on how to protect yourself or to sanitize or do anything like that? Or does it give a piece of advice on how to do something with newfound time at home or budgetary constraints, right? How to budget would be great. How to cook on a budget would be great. You know, like any of these sort of things. You can find them really all over the place uh, on the internet. Uh, so I definitely suggest, you know, take a look, dig around, you'll find some really interesting ones. Um, there's plenty of websites that offer you essentially like generators where you can like get a layout and then fill this in. That's fine, you just have to still provide me the last actual thing. Um, if you can save it to a PDF, that's best, right? Um, and we will work on it from there. Um, obviously I know working with like visual stuff can be tricky for you guys, so we'll talk. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, and then remember to get your essay turned in tonight, okay? Um, besides that, please stay healthy and safe. And uh, if you need anything, please like, feel free to reach out to me as usual. Thanks, guys.